this is artificial insemination gun ai and this is the artificial um vulva so this is being used to impregnate a female rabbit so in this video we are going to be teaching you guys how to use this artificial insemination gun and this artificial vulva to help you give um make your female rabbits get pregnant and you can use one male to impregnate up to five females in just one fall off so watch this video to the end so that you are going to be learning from this particular video thanks guys so hello guys we are in one of the biggest rabbit farms here in calabar so it's going to be teaching us today how to use the artificial insemination machine yeah that's what it's going to be teaching us today in this particular video so sir go on first of all show us your machine and the rest of the thing you have first of all your name and the name of your farm okay good morning all oh, sorry for my voice i'm not too strong okay i'm an engineer peter popularly known as peter rabbit you're okay. welcome to penhavila global resources okay. farm all right today we'll be i'll be taking you through the steps of artificial inseminator uh first you need the ai gun okay. then you need to train your male of course you need a female to train your male okay. but uh, today i'm going to show you guys how we do them all okay. all right okay so just show us how you use the artificial the gun okay okay so, just give us a close shot of this whole pack all right so this is the complete set okay yeah in the complete set you this is a uh, extender which i'll be showing you okay but extender does not come but you need an extender okay this is your th uh, what is called a thermometer okay which you will need mm. Mm -hmm. but it doesn't come with the set okay so these are all what that comes with the set the gun okay your host to connect the semen okay your collector, right. then your um, safety, uh, how do you call it? Your safety nozzles. This is one per one rabbit. Okay. One per one rabbit. Already there is one here. Okay. So that uh, you don't transmit or transfer diseases. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then your artificial vulva, okay. which come with different set of them. You can see uh, they have been in use. So these are the whole thing then you need a collector in here okay they all come in uh, how do you call them they have some spare parts this is two comes here okay okay so we are going to show test. us how you set it up from there okay this is uh this is this okay you put it in mm. so it's open as you can see under here is open okay good you put it in this rub this here there is this head here okay okay mm -hmm. yeah good so this this plastic will come under this okay. is artificial vulva okay that we're going to be using okay all right so let's go okay let's go and practicalize so, it so okay. we what, what do we need this for now to get the semen from yes, the male we need to get the semen from the male okay all right so, okay, so let's go all right so just all lead right. the way sir all right okay so guys uh he wants to get the semen from the male rabbits this is called the artificial inseminator so we are going to be using it to impregnate a female rabbit so guys watch out so which male are we using we're going to use uh, any of our males because practically all of them are thought so it's a female we need now okay so what we are going to do is okay, okay. so guys we got a female here so we are going to be using this female um to get the semen from the male so this is the female here. Come, I want you to see the female. These American look ears. Okay. Can you get the ears? The ears are falling. Okay. So this is an American loop ear. So we're going to use the guy. <laughs> All right. So we'll use this guy. Okay. To show you guys how it's done. Okay. So we'll take this guy to a male. Sorry. All right. I'll keep going. Okay, let's let's use this mail. All right. So, oh shit. Uh, the female. These are female. So these are male. Mm -hmm. The female will always have to come. Mind you, this host is under. 
So as the male is mounting, you put on that. You make sure that you're holding it together like this. You put under. I don't know if you can see me. Come down. Can you see under? So this is how it's going to be. Okay. Oh, she's making noise. So you come her down. So let the male mount. All right. So I don't know if you can see it. We've gotten a set of semen. Okay. So, but the truth is, this is too small for one. Uh, what do you call it? Female. For no, it's okay for one female. Okay. Mind you, it's going to be. This is just one set, one falling. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be at least three times. So it's okay. okay. And mind you, one okay, one uh, semen like this. Okay. Is okay to impregnate a female. Okay. But because you are using the artificial inseminator, want to use one and inseminate as many as possible. Oh, okay. And so there's what we call semen extender. We are going to add to increase the volume oh. so that we can use it for at least 10, 20 females. Oh, wow. Yes, yeah, so let's go. So this little uh, semen you got from one male, you can use it for like 20 females. Yes, we are going, wow. to, we are going to expand it. We guys, are going to expand it. we are learning a lot every day. So <laughs> you guys stay tuned. So as we go back to the table where the whole thing is going to be done. So you can give us this stainless steel side. So just get there and give us a shot in a very good way all right okay okay all right so we have our semen then we have our distilled water it must be distilled okay okay so what we are going to do now is we are going to take our semen extender okay this is called semen extender so help me hold yes so okay. we're going to take our semen extender okay so what this does is to multiply the semen so we can have more volume. Mm. Okay, so we can have more volume to it. Okay. So this semen extender one is to increase to 25 mil. You're supposed to use 25 mil of distilled water per one. Okay. Good. So let's shut some. Okay, it's using the water. Mm. Okay. Okay, so we have what? 25 mil. Yes, we have 25 mil. So you're going to pour this. I don't know, can you see the particle? Can you see what is coming up? Mm. Okay, I think one is covering. Okay. So you pour it. It's, it's in powdered form. Yes, it's in powdered form. Mm -hmm. So you're going to pour. Okay. All right. So please use your thermometer. It has to be clean always. It has to be clean. The and thermometer the comes with this set. No, no. Thermometer is separate. Okay. So it has to be clean. Please mind you. The, it must be at room temperature. So we prefer use the thermometer to stir. While you still be checking your temperature, okay. So you can see where it is now. It's not high. Mm. Can you see? It's yeah. not so high. Sure they come out, yes. Yeah. Can you see where the temperature is? It's not up to thirty-seven. Okay. So you will have everything you're doing have to be under a controlled uh, environment. So yeah. pour the semen inside, please. Okay. Good. So this thing we are doing here is though is what we use in the farm. But in a normal standard settings, you're supposed to use your uh, microscope yeah. to check if the pathogens in the semen are active okay. even before you mix and after you have mixed. Okay. So can you see the result? You can still come and check our thermometer. The temperature is still not above room temperature. Okay. So this is perfect. After we'll do the cleanup for the thermometer for now. We need to get this done. Okay. So once this is done, you will come over here. You have to be very fast. As a matter of you fact, close shot, please. you put your host. You, you have to be very fast. Yes. It's Why? Temperature. Temperature is not good. You're exposing the semen. Okay. So this will go into here. Okay. All 
right? Okay. Once this is done, you will come here. Can you see this is five mil? Okay. Can you see five here? Yeah. Yes, this is five mil. We'll set it at five mil. Mm -hmm. So what it simply means is at one shot, at one shot, we have five mil that will come out. Okay. Let's not waste it. At one shot, five mils is going to come out. Okay. Okay. So what we normally do is we take one female. Mm -hmm. So we can let's get a female quickly and inject. Okay. So, so let's just get a female rabbit. Yes. Let's let's do that. Okay. All right. Okay, so guys, we want to get one female rabbit so we can inject in the artificial um, semen to the female. Just come closer so that we get the whole thing in one shot. Yes. Okay. So this is the one we extract. Let me stay this other side. So this is the one that was, was, was okay. used. Okay. You hold, you hold upside down. Make sure the camera is seen, sir. Okay. Guys, I hope you guys are seen. Come on, help me hold. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you hold upside down. Can you see? Mind you, there is a rubber here. Okay. So you, you start through the valve. Okay. Start through the valve is inside. Okay. Okay. You shoot. Bam. Bam. That is ten mil. You bring out. Okay. Okay. So we put ten mil. So we have twenty five mils. This is done. Okay. So okay. you do this for like a lot of females. When you divide twenty five mils by ten mils, ten mils is uh, is even too much. We normally give five mils. Okay. So that is uh, five females. Okay, five mil. That's twenty-five mil can give us five female. That is five five each. Five five. Wow, from one mil. From one falling of one mil. As you mean because of the time, mm -hmm. if we have done, if we have collected up to uh, what do you call it, uh, three times semen, mm -hmm. so we can make ten, fifteen from one mil. Wow. Yes, at a go. <laughs> Guys, okay, so this is the importance of this um, artificial insemination. So, is there any disadvantages that comes with this particular um, way of breeding? Is there any disadvantages that come with it? Uh, truly, there is no disadvantage. Okay. Actually, it's all, all, it's all filled up uh, with advantages. Okay. What am I trying to say? What, if you notice, when we started, it came all the way up. Okay. So it simply means that we are shooting directly into the ovaries. Okay. So this one is not that the semen is going to swim up. No, we mm -hmm. deposited the semen inside where it should be directly. Okay. And this semen extender is two in one. Mm -hmm. It's an ovulator and an extender. What it does is, even if the rabbit, the rabbit is not on heat, mm. once you inject, it will go there and activate the rabbit to release egg instantly. Okay. So that the semen will fertilize the eggs. Okay. And by so doing, you can see we have six. The least we have in our farm is seven, six. In fact, six is the minimum. Okay. We have from six, this, yeah, have. six up to 15 at a go. Okay. Yes, if you notice, we have enough, uh, what do you call it, nesting buses that are already in there. Yeah. And we're expecting by this time, the next three days, we're expecting more than 20 beds. Okay. Yes, so that is all that is needed. Please, everything must be done under a control room temperature. If you can look outside, the environment is very favorable. It's cool. Mm. Semen cannot last long in a heat in a, a hot environment. Okay. Good. So when we want to do this, we do it very late hours of the night mm. or very early hours of the morning. Yeah. You see, I was rushing. Mm. It's not something you need to rush. And imagine when you want to produce more. Mm. Good. All right. I think that is it. All right. So thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Watch the next episode of this particular farm VC. We are going to be talking a lot in this particular farm we have a lot of questions to ask him that we are going to be learning from him so why the next episode of our video coming up in some days yeah so this is the whole farm setup as you guys can see and here we are going to be discussing a lot of things we visited this farm today and we are going to learn 
a lot from him so thank you guys for watching if you are new to the channel do well to like subscribe turn on the notification bell and also do well to share this video to other rabbit farmers so that they can also learn from it thanks for watching guys do have a nice day and peace